Welcome to another video folks, today I'm back with more casting Omicron gameplay, but this time running him under Jin lead. Having discussed the potential offensive boost Jin's lead provides via exposes with the Optimist, another Galaxy of Heroes content creator, I decided to try it out. Jin and Radis' lead are quite different, with Jin's offering a chance to expose an enemy when they receive a debuff and also providing passive protection recovery when an ally receives a buff when zated. Radis's, on the other hand, offers a significant boost to tenacity, potency, health and speed, and inflicts expose when an attacking enemy crits an ally. Radis's lead seems like the most sensible choice, the health and speed boosts in particular make his lead quite appealing. However, from my limited testing, that doesn't hold up to the potential exposes you can inflict on the enemy, leading to one-shot kills under Jin's lead. For example, facing Gene Ocean Brood Alpha in Wave 4 of Phase 2, I managed to stack 7 exposes on him and take him out with a single hit. That one-shot potential is huge for this team, being able to control and take out key enemies in the fewest amount of turns significantly improves their chances of getting 4-4 every time. Not to say this is guaranteed, as I've previously mentioned, this Omicron walks a very fine line between victory and defeat. One wrong move, such as not targeting the correct enemy for Watts assists, or resisted debuff, and it could be game over. So, where are the exposes coming from? Although most of the squad can inflict debuffs and potentially trigger Jin's lead, it's Cassian that's fueling this exposure fast. He can inflict 4 debuffs whenever he uses an ability, and an additional 2 more when attacking out of turn. This means whenever an ally with tech uses a special, Cassian can potentially inflict 6 debuffs all of which can trigger Jin's lead and potentially inflict 6 exposes, which is huge. I'll once again briefly touch upon the ideal lineup. Jin, Radis, Cassian form your core 3. I would say Baze is also essential having the only dispels on the team. The 5th slot is a bit more flexible, I like Chirut for his cleanse, passive healing, health, equalization. However, K2 could also be a good fit, offering an additional taunt to take the heat off Baze, a daze which could help against Droidica and Sniper Droids, and frequent assists, although the latter may cause issue of trying to control B1 and B2 with Ability Block. To conclude, this is a good Omicron. I'm finding it a lot of fun to use and suspect it's got a bigger future in the upcoming Rise of the Empire territory battle. If you've got Baze, Chirrut or K2 Relict, and already have Kyle or Finn's Omicron and are looking for a new viable squad for GOTV, I highly recommend this Omicron. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know below or find me on Discord. Till the next video.